Those are all people that I really liked. I knew all of them but the harp player John Popper. I met most of them at Crossroads. Well, I'd worked with Derek and, and uh, Warren a lot and then Susan. Well, it was just songs that I grew up listening to when I first started to get into music. The songs that I really loved. It was an easy album to make because I didn't have to learn any songs. I already knew them really well. But I liked the whole thing. I liked all of them. Yeah, we did that about a year ago when we played the first time we played Japan. They were unbelievably good. Uh, we, they were a lot better than I thought they were going to be. We always heard that they were very reserved, but they were everything but reserved. Yeah, it was about a year ago. We played there twice now. Oh, well, I loved that. I always loved that song. I had did it on my first record, Progressive Blues Experiment. But I did it on uh, Johnny Went Around Live, too. I used to do that song all the time. Uh, one of my best times musically. I just loved work, working with Muddy. I'd loved him since I was a teenager. So I'd known him since I was 12. I've been listening to his music since I was 12 or 13. I always loved Muddy's music. To me, he made the best blues records ever made. Oh, I was sure hoping that someday I would. I, mean, I loved his music. Yeah, I saw him play when and when I was... Uh, before I made it, we opened for him at this club in Austin, Texas called the Vulcan Gas Company. That was the first time I met him. I was like 23. Went really well. It went really good. Uh, I was taking pictures and recording the whole thing, and I, I just loved it. Got to talk to him for a good while. Uh, I had an old national guitar, and he still told me he used to have one like it. He thought I was black. He'd never seen a white albino before, so he thought I was a black guy. <laughs> he said he liked it. He doesn't even do it anymore. He said, that's Johnny's song now. But he was happy the way I did it. Look, he, he, he said that uh, I did a song called TV Mama. He said Robert Johnson would have liked it. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, he, I know he liked me. Never met him, though. Did the show and still never met the guy. Got knew Mick and Keith. And uh, the other guitar player, what's his name? Uh, Ronnie Wood. Yeah, I knew all of the three guys. I didn't know Charlie Watts or, or Bill Wyman. Never met them. But I met Keith and Mick a couple of times. Oh, I like all their stuff. I like a lot of their songs. Jumping Jack Bass is real good. But I like a lot of their stuff. They used to open for me before they got big. <laughs> no, that was about it. They just they opened for me before they got real successful. Got on there so long ago. It was in the 70s. I thought he was an excellent guitar player. Don't know what to do to... <laughs> get good stuff like that yeah, I always tell